How you going, guys? You good? Yeah. That's good. Um, I have trouble sleeping. Does anyone, anyone here have trouble sleeping? Yes, it's not really a woo kind of, <laughs> kind of thing, is it? No, but I, I do. And I was telling this guy I live with uh, that I have trouble sleeping. He's one of those guys who's into like kind of new agey sort of stuff. Um, that's just his way of saying he talks a lot of shit. <laughs> uh, but, but no, he said, I said, oh, I can't sleep. And he said, oh, you know what you got to do to help you get to sleep is you got to meditate. I was like, what? I don't, I don't know what meditating is. And he said, no, right, when you meditate, what you got to do is you got to just lie there and like shut your eyes and like clear your head of all thoughts. You like close your eyes and, uh, and think about nothing uh, and then eventually you'll go to sleep. I said, that's just going to sleep, isn't it? <laughs> No, but I do, I do have trouble sleeping. A little bit about me. First, I'm uh, Patrick, I'm 19, I'm from Australia. Do we know, do we know Australia? Yeah, any Aussies in? Yeah. Awesome, where are you from? Brisbane. Same, where in Brisbane? Uh, Maruka. Maruka? Uh, where? <laughs> <laughs> no idea, no, no worries. That's just my, the extent of my crowd work, guys. Well done. <laughs> Uh, no, but I, I'm, I'm from Australia. Um, you'd know Australia is a place where like, sport is pretty important, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, um, sport, sport's important in Australia. Sport's certainly important in my family. Uh, like, my grandfather actually played professional rugby league for a while in, in Queensland, which is pretty cool. Uh, my mum played, uh, I don't know, netball or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. But, um, but no, my dad was actually a, a champion long distance runner. Uh, and he's a bloody good one too, it's been 19 years, he still ain't come back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't grow up with the dad, obviously I, I grew up kind of between my mum and my grandma, I'm really close to my grandmother. I tried to call her as much as possible, uh, but there was a period of time when I was calling her, she wasn't answering my phone calls, like I ring her like three times one day, she wouldn't answer three times another, she wouldn't answer. I called her like three times on the third day, I put the phone down, and she rang me straight back. And, you know, I was happy to hear from her. I said, no, no, thank God, you know, you're okay. Is everything, is everything all right? What's been happening? She said, yeah, no, I'm fine. I, I said, I heard your last call. I just missed it. I was on the toilet. I had dysentery. You know how it is. <laughs> I said, no, I don't. <laughs> but, no, what do, you, what do you mean? She said, no, don't worry about it. I'm trying to install this fridge. I was wondering if you could help me. I, I said, hang on, let's go back there. But she didn't. That was the end of the conversation about, <laughs> about that. But obviously I was worried about her, so I called, I called my mum. I said, do you, know that, do you know that Nana had dysentery? And she said, no, she didn't. Um, and my, guys, my grandmother's Maltese. Uh, she doesn't speak English that well. Uh, she just forgot the word for diarrhea. She <laughs> thought dysentery was a suitable replacement. Because <laughs> they both start with D. You can't, you can't do that, can you? Like, I don't know if you can hear... I'm a bit blocked up at the moment, but I can't come up here and go, oh, geez, guys, I got, you know, blocked nose, sinus pain, headache. Oh, what's it called? Starts with C, uh, cholera, what? <laughs> Doesn't work. Um, no, but she ended up telling me about this fridge. Um, it's, a, it's a smart fridge, uh, which I think, I think that's the problem with this generation. I think too, much, too many things are made smart. We don't need a smart fridge. You know, I've never had a problem with my fridge being too dumb. <laughs> You know, like I don't walk in my kitchen in the morning, you know, looking for, looking for food and open the fridge, see there's no food in there and go, fuck, come on, read a book. <laughs> you don't, you don't do it. You know, I don't, I don't have friends over in my kitchen you know, discussing the works of a uh, of German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche. <laughs> and my fridge is just sitting there in the corner going, shit, man, I'm in way over my head here. <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't compare my fridge to the, the fridges of my friends and colleagues. <laughs> you know, I go, come on, man. Darren's fridge going Oxford. <laughs> You're going Oxford Brooks, what are you doing? <laughs> my fridge goes, yeah, but I'm really into my music. I go, shut up. <laughs> it's just dumb. Uh, <clears throat> no, you guys have been really lovely. I'll leave you with this. Um, I don't just argue with, with household appliances. Um, I also find, I don't know, I have, a, I have a girlfriend, I love her a bit, she's great, uh, but I find that we argue sometimes just because like, I'll say the wrong thing, because uh, I don't think before I speak. Uh, I'll give you an example of this. Um, just before I came up to Liverpool, because uh, I live in London, just before I came up to Liverpool, we were getting ready, she wanted to have like a last night on the town before I came up, you know, kind of see me off. Um, and we were getting ready to go out, and she, uh, like, she bought this new pair of jeans she was really excited to wear out, and I came to pick her up, and she walked out in them, 
and she said, Patrick, I want you to tell me honestly, um, just before we go, do these, these jeans make me look fat? Uh, <laughs> I mean, she, uh, I mean, you know, I, I didn't want to hurt her feelings, but I didn't, you know, I can't, um, <laughs> uh, so I just said, you know, nothing, I tried not to be me, I just said, oh, look, darling, I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> um, um, and she, uh, yeah, she, obviously she got really upset. Uh, she started crying um, and, and she left. She went upstairs. We didn't go out that night. Um, but like the worst thing about it was that like it wasn't true. Like those pants looked great. She looked beautiful. She always looks beautiful. Um, I just didn't really want to go out. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Cheers.